Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel where we create apps using Flutter. In the last video, we created up this social media type app, which I'm calling The Wall. And so far we have handled user authentication and the user can post a message to The Wall, which all logged in users can see. Now let's add a like button as well as displaying the number of likes for each post. So the first thing is let's go to our components folder and create a new file called like button and let's create the button here real quick so it's going to be a stateless widget and we want this to be tappable so we want to have a gesture detector and in terms of the parameters we want to know the boolean for if it's liked or not and we need to have the on tap function so let's create the constructors for these and let's start filling this out so on tap let's just give it the on tap method and the icon is going to depend on if it's liked or not. Okay, so so is it liked? If it is, then let's use the favorite icon. And otherwise, let's use the favorite icon, but the border version. So it's like an empty heart. And similarly for the color, let's make it red and gray. So let's just try to see this in action first before we continue this further. So in place of this profile pic, let's just put in a like button. And I want to have a like counter below it, so let's put it in a column. Okay, so if I type like button, you can see that's what we created earlier. And for now, let's just fill in with some fixed values. So I'm just going to say true and execute nothing. Cool, and you can see that's what the heart looks like. And if I say false, it will be an empty heart, but the bordered version. Cool, so now let's actually start to code up the logic. So in this wall post, I actually made it a stateless widget, it looks like, but I want to click on this button and change the heart in the wall post. So I'm actually going to change this to a stateful widget. Now, there's a little shortcut if you're on Mac, you can hover over the stateless widget word and hit command dot and you can have this option. So we're just going to convert it to a stateful widget. And let's get the user from Firebase. And let's create that boolean for if it's liked. Initially, let's just say false. And let's create our initial state. And actually at the top, we should be creating a few more parameters. So I need to know the post ID just to identify which wall post we're looking at. And also a list of strings for the likes. So this like list is gonna contain all of the emails for the users that have liked it. Okay, so if you come back to our homepage, when we post a message, let's also fill in a new field here, which is called likes, and we'll just initialize it as a empty list for now. So when you make a new post, no one's liked it yet. Cool, and then if you go down to the wall post, we should have a red squiggle because we have to fill out these two things. So just give it the post ID and for the likes, let's retrieve this from Firebase so that we can display it back on our UI. Okay, so we're going to try to get the list from the post likes from Firebase. Now, if it's null, which is what the double question mark means, then just return an empty list. And if you save it, you should be getting some errors because our wall posts in Firebase don't actually have this like field yet. Okay, so don't worry about this error right now. We'll sort that out in just a second. Now coming back to the wall post, from the perspective of a user that's logged in, we can say if our current user's email is, is contained in the list of overall likes, then that means we can say is liked is equal to true. And then finally, let's just create a quick method here just to toggle like and unlike. So this will just be a simple set state and change the Boolean around. Okay, cool. So again, I if you save it, we keep getting this error. And the reason why, as I mentioned before, is if you come to your Firebase console, the previous posts that we had they don't have the like field, right? So that's why we're getting this error because the inconsistencies in the data. So what you're going to do is just delete this collection. So let's just start fresh. And then if you come back to the code, when we post a message, our new posts now should have a liked option. So now we can go to the like button and give it our variable and also the method. 
Cool, and if I save this and I rerun it and you click on the heart, you can see it goes on and off. Awesome, so far so good. Now, one thing is this is all uh, local so far. Like we haven't stored it in the Firebase actually yet. So you can see, even if, if I log out and I log back in, the heart hasn't been saved. Now just to finish off, we need to go to our toggle like method and fill out this code. So I'll write the comments here so that you can know what's going on with this line of code. But the first thing is I need to access the document in Firebase. And the collection was user posts. Okay, and let's get the wall ID, or let's get the wall post for this particular ID. And if it's liked, then let's add the user's email to the likes field. Otherwise, if the post is now unliked, then let's remove it from the like field. So post ref, we can update the likes field. And so we can get the field value and we want to array union. So this means put the arrays together and we want to put our email in that list. Cool, else if we now unliked it, then on the likes field, let's, let's remove the email from the list. Okay, cool. So now if you create a new message and you like it, you can see in your console, it's got this new likes field. And this likes field is a list in it of itself. And so what that means is we can now have a counter. So how many people have liked this post? So that will just be in a text widget, the length of the number of likes. And so currently it's one and you can see it goes from zero to one. So it is actually working. But just to do some further testing, let's just create a couple new messages. And just in terms of the styling, I reckon we can make it a bit more gray. It's a bit too black. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. So if I sign out and I sign back in with a different user, so I, I signed in with a different email, then you can see it's still got the ones, like the like from the other user. And so now we can just keep adding on to it. So that's the like function, the like button we have now implemented to our app. Now, if you made it this far into the tutorial, then great job. Leave me a purple heart in the comments so I know you did. Now, this is actually quite fun building out this kind of social media app. And I want to continuously add features. And so I think the next one, I'm probably going to add a user profile feature so that the user can choose a username and sort of update their profile. Let me know what other features I should add and we can kind of watch this thing grow together. So I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.